everyone welcome to programming in python.com i'm back with another video here in this video i'm going to tell you how to print the pattern of letter x in the previous videos i told you how to print the patterns up to letter w here it's time for letter x i will also link all those previous videos in the description i will also pin it in the comment box and in the i button in the right corner of this video so make sure you click that i button in the right corner of this video for all the previous letter patterns so now let's get started with pattern of letter x so guys this is the pattern of letter x i'm going to print now so let's give me the size let's assume the size as 7 so here i'm statically giving the size as 7 but while i go into my python IDE where i code this program in few moments i'll take this uh, number from the user based upon this number the size of this letter may vary so I like two loops these are called rows and these are called columns so first I need to loop those rows and columns for R in range S S is a size here R means for columns and moving columns and for C in range S here C is for columns so I have looped rows and columns as you see here we need here only two conditions, two slanting lines, which we already did this slanting lines in previous videos. Now we need to make conditions for full slanting line one this side and full slanting line this side, which when intersected looks like an X. So I'll write conditions for that. If here if you see row uh, 0, 0, uh, row is 0, column is 0, row is 1, column is 1, row is 2, column is 2, this is one condition. So I'll write conditions for this slanting line. If row equal to equal to column so if row equal to equal to column i'll print that and the other condition would be here if you see six uh, this is six this is zero six plus zero six this is five this is one five plus uh, one six this is two and this is four two plus four six this is three and this is uh, three that is six however it's covered in this standing line so see this is four and this is two six this is 5 and this is 1, 6, 6 and 0, 6. So that is another condition. That means row plus column equal to equal to this S minus 1. So these are the two conditions. When we write those two conditions, we achieve these two slanting lines interacting each other. Looks like an X. So, so these are the two conditions. I'll write all here. So in these two cases, I'll print uh, stars. I have given here and as empty because uh, if I don't give this and as empty by default print takes this uh, next new line slash and as a empty and end parameter so that it goes to the new line instead of printing this star and waiting there it goes to the new line so I don't want that so I have given this and as empty or space here and in else condition I have written conditions of printing star and in else condition I just need to print spaces so this is the else conditions it will print stars in these conditions based upon this if and in else in all other spaces in all other condition in all other uh, in all other locations it will print spaces so that's for if and else and for initial iteration after initial iteration i need to print an empty print so that it goes to the next iteration after the printing the first line so this is the program two simple conditions one is to print R equal to equal to C for printing this slanting line and the one is R plus C equal to S minus 1 for printing this slanting line. So that's it about the explanation. Now I'll go into my PyCharm ID, code the same program, see the output. I'm in my PyCharm ID guys. I'll tell you, I'll tell you how to print the pattern of letter X, which I just discussed in the whiteboard. So as usual, I'll ask the user to enter the size. Size equal to in input. Enter any size. I, need, I also need to cast this to integer so that we can only take integer numbers. So now after this, I'll make a small condition. It's not at all related to the pattern I'm going to print. It's just related to the size of the pattern. I just prefer it, it should be written big so that we can look that we can see the pattern a little more clear. And I will write a condition the pattern is so less than 8, I will tell the user to enter a size which is greater than 8. Enter a size greater than 8. 
so i'll just put the condition and in else i'll print the actual pattern so i'll write print pattern and i'll take this size as a parameter so based upon this size we're able to print the pattern of the letter x so i need to create this function so i'll go here and i'll write def and i'll do the size as n so as usual we have two loops here for row in range of n and for column in range of n again so now uh, in, as i said we need two conditions that is two slanting lines to print stars that is if here we'll have if and we'll write some conditions and if the conditions are true i'll print stars i also said i'll do end as empty because by default n takes by default print takes end as new line and else print spaces and even here i will take end as empty or space and here after this first print i'll print an empty i mean after this first fall i'll print an empty print so that it will go to the next line so here i need to write conditions like if row like if row equal to equal to column that is condition for one slanting line or if row plus column equal to equal to n minus one that is the other condition so this will print one slanting line and this will print other slanting line so in these two conditions we are going to print stars and all other conditions we are going to print spaces let me run this and see and the size of nine you can see the letter x is printed perfectly and the size of 15 you can see this this is the letter of uh, this is the pattern of the text we are trying to print so that's how you will that's how we can print the pattern of the text guys hope you like the video guys if you like it please consider subscribing to my channel programming in python.com also share these videos with your friends who might feel these videos helpful i will also post the uh, github link in the description also the blog post in the description and also some other useful links so make sure you are also looking at the description of this video i will be continuing this pattern series up to letter z so stay tuned for all those patterns see you in the next video bye bye